Welcome back to Jakar's Gaming Documentary. We're right where we left off last video about the search for the Golden Claw. Hopefully the NPC audio was fixed this time, but there's only one way to find out. And that's just to get right on to it. See, spells ready. Alright. I have the, uh, volumes in game set to max I made a slight adjustment on the speakers so hopefully that takes care of it loading 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 load faster maybe it's the HD texture pack it's running makes it a little slower All right. oops running don't run we got a sneak in here Mm, times like this I wish I had a nice little fireball spell rat tails I'll take some of that for alchemy yeah, you can keep your stuff dude I don't really well I guess I could still I don't stealth much on mages Let's go get some people, huh? Come on over here, son. I got something for you. That's right. Come into the flames. Ah, pretty good. You got me. Carrot. check this guy already yeah that's a awkward position oh gems I'll definitely take gems good resale value Let's see what else we got in here hmm Yes, I know how it works. Pick it up, son. Why you had it? Unlock that chest. Oh, man. He did a nice shot. Look at that. All right. That is an excellent shot. There we go, paralysis. Might be handy. <clears throat> yeah, spider webs. Ah, empty. That's a shame. They're all empty. That's a rip off. What's up here? Anything? Not even a gem. See, I would put something up there if I was a level designer. Alright, let's sneak around here. More dead rats. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a guy down there. There was a guy down there. 
He did do. See snake, snake, whale. As you can tell, I never done this before. All right, clink. See, you got anything? You got money? I'll take that. Torch could be useful. Give me that. Hmm. He got some sturdy legs. Fall from that height. Not even sprained ankle. <clears throat> ah. I always hit it before I read the word. Gold soul gem. Ah, thief. Pickpocket. All right. Apparently, I've got a level up I need to do. Take care of that in a minute. Oh! Oh crap! I fell down. <laughs> there we go. You guys are taken care of. It's weird. It's like the first time I've ever fell down there. Alright. Here we go. Paralyzation. Let's see. Items. Potions. Favorite. That'll be our emergency potion in case some axe wielding nutcase comes running at us. Hmm, if only I had animate dead, he could be useful. Yeah, he can keep you studded armor, son. Amazing whole room shakes when you do that. That's some hellacious spider webs right there. Alright, get some more MP back. Spit that stuff at me, son. There, get him, arrow bait. Don't let up on him. There we go. One cook spider. <laughs> arrow bait, spider bait. Both work. Hmm. Need spider eggs for future potions. I guess I'll take this. Might need a poison. I know I ain't gonna need a poison. If I'm stabbing people with a dagger, I'm doing it all wrong. I just need It's coming loose. Now, be quiet, dude. I'm trying to talk here. Freaking weirdo. Let's see here. Okay, dude, cries worse than an old woman. Yeah, you cut me down here. <sighs> hmm. Ah, so Jim, I need those. I need money. Money to buy more power. I like to look up every now and again because you find yourself missing out all the, the ceiling artwork that they work so hard to make. Yeah, I hear you, fiend devil. I do, because these old dried bodies got some money on them. Uh-huh. If you're going to stand there and take it, I'll give it to you. There we go. 
That is a very slow death right there. It's good things. I'm out of magic. Huh. A anti-gravity sword. <laughs> Take that. I guess I need to go ahead and level up now. Because I need... See, I got 180 magic, so I'm good. So I'm going the health route for five levels. Not necessarily consecutive. We're going to get that. Now I can burn their face off a little longer. Oh, in case anybody wonders, that's the name of the character. Baladas. The story behind that name is in Morrowind. In uh, one of the s northern cities... Yeah, in one of the northern cities, there was this Telvanni mage with the name Baladas. So, when I was playing Age of Conan, I needed more names since you could only play one job per race. Hmm. So, yeah. I went looking through old Morrowind saves, different NPCs, found him. I was like, hey, that'd be pretty good for a mage name, I imagine. This is journal. Huh. Okay, we don't need none of that. Get out of here. <laughs> That's a close one, huh? Nerves of steel. Hey, Fangdale, get over here, son. There's a corpse just ahead right there. You see him? You see him? Okay, got it. You know, you arranged. You could have shot him. What are you doing, son? I tell you, man. Whoa. Fangdale, don't walk in my crossfire with my view. Fire beats ice, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, that ain't healing. There we go. Yeah, like I say, the follower mod fixes a lot of issues with these guys, but as you can see, they still sometimes handicap when it comes to distinguishing a target you lay out for them. But the good thing is, hey, come here. Stand on that pressure plate. You see that? Still need me to do something? Standing right on it. This has follower trap safety added in. Anything else? Yeah. Follow me. Let's get going. So they can't set off pressure plates. So I can't convey how awesome and helpful that is because before in vanilla you couldn't keep a follower because they kept setting off all the freaking traps and getting you killed like a bunch of igmos at least now now you can use oh barbecue that corpse whoa. there we go next is an archer you miss, son. Don't hide behind this pillar. What are you going to do about it, huh? Huh? That's right. Walk into the flame. Where'd he go? Oh, he's dead. Hmm. This will be a one hand. Oh, I forgot about that. Apparently the follower tweaks also has, uh, what, do you, what would you call it? It's like the skills they use sometimes help you skill up. So a random skill will gain a level. It's kind of like an assisted level boost. I don't know. I can't remember exactly how it is. I've got your back. Let's see. Any trace things, you son? 
Uh, here's you a bow. You can give me a crap bow. Let's see, some arrows. There we go. You lead, I'll follow. Sounds good. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Hmm. Like you say, you know, because I got skill for one handed. And I haven't hit anything with my dagger yet. I guess it kind of works out good for mage, though, because you can actually level things you don't even use. Kind of weird, though. Now, let me turn that off. And we run. Turn that off. Mm, don't want that to fall on my head later. Oh yeah, that bow looks a lot better, dude. I'm be styling. I think the next thing I'm gonna get is a perk and alteration, so that shield just doesn't destroy my magic supply. See what we got around here. We got a corpus. We got some pots. We got some whatever that is. Some motor oil or something. Hey, wake up, dude. And wait. That's right. Just lay on down. It'll be all good. <laughs> All right. I ought to make a pure mage with a double bladed sword one day. Probably be awesome. All right. I believe, okay, we ought to be good for a little while. No point creeping along. Don't have to. Other than to enjoy the dungeon layouts, which is very awesome. Oh, look at that. You got roots. You got, look at that detail. It's just great. There we go. I think he's doing the majority of the damage of these things. I'm just irritating them. Take all that. Yeah, look at all that. That looks great. <laughs> I wonder who uh, keeps these candles lit. I mean, you guess you could say the Draugr, but what happens when the candle burns out? They got a candle making factory down here. Ah, a pickaxe. Need that. I can do me some iron mining. Make me a iron shovel and pickaxe. Oh wait, that's the wrong game. Usually on a mage I mine tons of stuff even though I don't use smithing. What in the Sam hell are you doing, son? I already got it. Oh, Fiendale's been smoking that wacky weed. Ah, fireball. I can use that, sell that. Always use some coin. Do, 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 do. Always need our chemical ingredients. Come on, pick it up. If that memory serves, those are used. An invisibility potion? Or no, maybe it was a destruction potion. Hmm, it's it's a good potion what those are used for. Usually when I get a hearth fire house. I grow those in the greenhouse. Ah! 
How dare she hit me? Money. I still don't understand. Oops. Why you can't grab skulls like this? Doesn't make any sense. Let's see here. Chest. Yeah, rat. Hey, what is on these rats? They just got hair ripped out. Looks like they got mange or some kind of flesh-eating virus. Quite disgusting. Let's see. There we are. I'll take all that. It's funny, no matter what class I always go for, I end up having to pick locks. Of course, thank goodness this lock picking is better than Oblivion's. I was terrible at Oblivion's. I had to carry five million lock picks just to have it auto pick. Because I always failed miserably at it. But on Skyrim, I can actually do the lock picking, oddly enough. Ah, there's a feller up ahead. Come on, Fiendale, I need you arrow bait. Alright, torch him, run. That's it, keep him busy, Fiendale. Oh, yeah. All kinds of style points on that one. Good job, dude. Now, on this follower mod, you can have, like, what is it? I think up to a maximum of three or four followers. But usually if you get that many, they end up just getting in the way. and They make it too easy because you don't even have to do anything. You can just stand to the side while they kill whatever you're fighting. <sighs> I usually do one, maybe two at most. Depends on the situation, really. Of course, I guess you could just increase the difficulty. The more followers you have, but if I remember right, all the difficulty does is make your damage lower, NPC damage higher, and gives them bigger HP pools, so... Followers would be unaffected by difficulty, so it would really only nerf you. So that really ain't much of a challenge. Just have your followers kill everything or summons. Oh man, second too quick. I got cocky on that one. Don't you be shooting at me, son. Come on. I'm about to say, man. Trying to hit a pot, can't even do it. Oh, we're just standing here for a second. Where's this guy? Oh, I guess Fiendell got him. Good. Huh. Well, that's not as graceful as I usually do it. But, hey, whatever gets it done. Sell that. I think there's a potion right here. Sell that. Hey, Dave, watch out. Coming through. Hmm. Ah, there he is. I need those. I don't think I got anybody with these pots. That one had a bounce to it, like a basketball. No basketball. Okay, come on, fire! I gotta get through here. Hello. Hello. Oh, looks like we leveled up again. That'll be handy. 
Let's see what we got here. Ding, ding, ding. And ding, ding, ding. These symbols are on the palm of the claw, by the way, but everybody and their brother knows that. These Skyrim videos are late to the game. Ain't nothing new here. Everybody knows how to open them doors. Uh, that view. Now it's about right here. First time I ever played through. I was walking just like this towards this area. Looking around, nervous. See what might be here. And then bats coming out everywhere. And then Fiendal said, Wow, would you look at that? And if it wasn't just perfectly timed, because I was in awe of it myself, I was like, Wow, look at that. And that's what he said. And I was like, Damn, that's so awesome. <laughs> Of course, then after a while, when you get a follower, it never shuts up like yo. It's like, woman, be quiet. NPCs are kind of bad like that, too. I mean, you can be like 10 yards away and they want to talk to you. It's like, dude, I don't care about your damn knees and arrows. Get out of my face. Which is the other mod I have. Reduces NPC... Uh, greetings I guess so basically you can walk right by whoops, right by a guy and he won't talk to you you actually have to get in his face before he talks to you very awesome so I don't get those annoying catch phrases all the time some glowing over there it looks like more power we'll be getting that sell that get that Crap, I'll take that. Ooh, Staff of the Familiar. Hell yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Hmm. Speaking of, let's get this baby hot keyed on there. Why have I got a hunting bow? I don't want that garbage. Get out of here. We are going to put that staff. I'm going to put that, that's going to be the new number six. There we go. All right. Need our shield. Ready to go now. Yeah, look at that detail. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, you ready, son? We need to get out of here. Look at this. Ain't that awesome? That's great, ain't it? All right. Do, 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 do. Hey, son. You need to lay back down. Whoa. Familiar? What is wrong with you, son? Don't run into my fire. Stand when people get my crosshairs. All right, done and done. It's over here. Ah, there we go. Hidden chest. I thought I remembered one there. Ah, there you are. You kind of blend in the background. And the first time I came up here, I was like, huh, that's a door. How do you open this thing? And I couldn't figure out how, so I actually walked back the other damn way like a moron. Claws in hand. We'll go visit 
Our little merchant friend gets some more money in turn for some more books of power. Okay. Well, quick little quick save. You never know, recording may make this baby crash at any time. Don't know, can't say. Ah, yeah, this will be far more exciting when I get more spells, and progress with the main story, and do a few little side quests. Be, whoa, dude, personal space, man, back off. Yeah, I'm not really sure I like that where they just go and do random stuff. I mean, it does kind of add to the immersion when they sit down or mine or something like that. But a lot of times they get in the way. Like you'll be scoping something out, strategizing, and all of a sudden they will walk in front of you and look at you like a freaking retard. But, still here. tweak options. Set Settings. Let's see, this is all the settings. See, you can turn off whether they die or not. Idle chatter, which is fine. Recharges weapons. Combat regen boost, that just means they heal about immediately after a battle. Um, force post combat auto heal. No clue on that one. NPC doesn't auto relax. We click on that. He stops being annoying and doesn't get in our way. All right. Let's get going then. There we are. Now he'll just be statically staying there. <sighs> like he should be. <laughs> I think I'll get to old River Wood. Turn this in. Check my time on recording. If this has been long enough, I'll just cut it there. And then next one, we'll make our way to... White run, talk to the Jarl, which always threw me off because I guess in Sweden, is it Sweden? They say J's as Y's, like you know, Majol is what it looks like to me, Majol, but it's like Mjol or something. Quite interesting. Of course, I can barely talk. Uh, or barely say English correctly, let alone other languages. I usually just, whoa. Shield sign, not fire. I usually just uh, modify the English language to suit my own needs. If it were like possum. What in the hell is there O in front of possum for? You don't say no O in possum. You start with a P. That's just a redundant letter. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you know, Granny. Can't be bothered with that. Oh, yeah, level up. Gotta do that before I forget. More health. Uh, alteration, I think, is the next benefit. Make that shield spell not take half my mana bar. Good. Now let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. It only takes a small little bit of it. That's more nuking power. Whoa, what was that? Lag? Uh oh, who this? A lot of them though. Yeah. I don't think I'll be messing with them jokers. Not right now, because they're in between me and my extra power up ahead. If I had a little more power, I'd barbecue them. But, first, you got to play it safe. Play it safe before you can play it on the offense. Hey, bunny. Two bunnies down already. There we go. Huh. Obviously, these destruction spells are 
pretty weak right now. Hey, come here. I need your antler, son. I might need leather for something. I'll probably increase Fiendale's armor. When I actually put it on him, he's still on his backpack from last time. I have to get that out and have him actually equip it. Do, 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 do. All right, here we are. Let's go pay these dudes a visit. Hey, hope you got some money, son. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Yeah. I'm sure this claw disrupts your life. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yeah, that's what she said. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Alright. Thank you so much. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to buy some stuff, dude. Don't care about your history. No. Oh. Not my books, your books. Let's see. I need. I need that. That is what I want. I guess I'll just get frostbite, complete the circle of elements. Books. There we go. Spells. Conjuration. First conjuration spell. Very awesome. Staff of the Familiar is removed in favor of that. And I'll put that to seven. Good, good. Whoa, don't run. All right. Golden Claw complete. More power gained. Hey, don't walk in front of my recording, dude. What's the matter with you? So, I'll stop it here, and on the next one, we will continue on to White Run and see what more power we can get. <laughs> so, until then, this is Jakar. I'll catch you later.